The interior design can go on so many levels from decorating a bedroom with the perfect bedding set to picking out the best items for a living to all sorts of wall coverings. You see, sometimes, most times, you have a room that doesn't say much. It doesn't have character or any style that could impact a room, not to mention that it doesn't even make you feel any emotion at all. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you the top 10 items to cover a simple plain wall and achieve that wow factor your room lacks. I'm Patricia and this is the Designer 101. about something. You don't have to cover all your walls to have a huge impact on a room. Quite the contrary, sometimes you just need one star wall. And this is not because of a low budget or being cheap. It's about not saturating the place and having the right amount of change. Imagine this picture with all these plain walls with no coverings. If I add this texture to all walls, oh my god, my eyes. But if I just add this texture and this wall over here, now it feels more balanced and with order. This method works perfectly as focal points. You want to direct people's attention to where you want them to look, not the other way around. So let's start with the most basic one. Number 10 is paint. I know, way too simple. If it is a rented space, check with your landlord before grabbing a brush. It's affordable, easy to apply, and you can always be creative with this. Some people paint their walls in different shapes and sometimes different colors in one same wall. Some people take this opportunity and create masterpieces of artwork. Don't underestimate the power of paint. Continuing to the next one in the list, number nine, peel and stick materials. Great option when you need something that is not permanent and also not expensive. Peel and stick tiles or wallpapers come in a huge variety of options and you can actually install it yourself. The problem with this is that it may feel a bit fake with some textures and it can get damaged in a short period of time. Number eight is wallpapers. Love this item so much since it can be anything from geometrical patterns to shape patterns, flowers, drawings. It is also an affordable option that can give that room a twist and works with nothing permanent policies. You can find some of them with a slight texture. Have enough to spare though because it could get damaged over time more if it gets wet. Number seven is tiles ceramic, porcelain, or anyone that you're thinking of. It is definitely a permanent solution, not too expensive, but it does require some specialized installation. Tiles can come in many options too, from colonial style to textures of stone, matte, or glossy. They protect from water and require minimal maintenance. Number six is a bit more expensive solution, but it's still a great one. Actual stones, marble, limestone, bricks, granite, all kinds. I know this is, I think, the most expensive option, but I promise you it looks fantastic. There are some kinds that are less expensive than others, like bricks or sandstone, which are the most common. They can set up a specific interior design style like industrial or French country. This one does not require maintenance for a few years, so it ends up being a good investment. Let's continue with our number five on the list. Cover the wall with artificial plants. You can buy these grass panels on Amazon if you like. They are made of plastic, sometimes some sort of fabric, and give you the illusion of real grass. Now, I need to be clear about this. Illusion. So the closer you are from that wall, the more likely people are going to touch it and realize it's not real. Some people are not that fan of that emotion. Minimal maintenance, other than keeping it clean. I do recommend painting the wall before installing it in a dark color like black or dark green since these panels are not super bushy. You could see from some angles the green plastic structure or the background. Unlike artificial plants, the number four is natural plants. I know some of you thought artificial, so fake. Now this option does require maintenance, but it's not impossible. 
You can do this in different ways with climbing ivy but you'll need some kind of planter in all the bottom of the wall so it will start growing or some trailing green ivy on baskets in different heights so their leaves fall through the wall like a cascade since this option is a live plant of course you'll need to take good care of it sunlight water trimming etc but when you see the result everything will be worth it it gives the place a fresh vibe, more oxygen, and so much texture and color. Now for the number three, wood. Wood panels, wood tiles, MDF, and more. Wood comes in many different presentations because it is such a versatile material that achieves wonderful looks, gives the place texture, and sets a fresh vibe too. Not exactly cheap, but it's not unreachable. Its price depends on the presentation you choose. It can be not permanent option since it could be detachable. Our number two is not that popular, but very affordable. Non-permanent solution and you can do it yourself. It is covering the wall with fabric and I don't mean curtains. I mean that if you like a specific fabric pattern, you can put the fabric attached to the wall like a wallpaper. Clean the wall first and apply it with warm water. Easy solution, you can remove it easily with warm water too, without ruining the wall. Last but not least, our number one is covering the wall with items. For example, an arrangement of photo frames in the entire wall, could be with different sizes, same colors or different. A white wall is not necessarily about changing the white, but changing the plain sight. So in this case, a white wall is a white canvas. Other items that works perfectly are mirrors. Some people cover their walls with huge mirror or an arrangement that looks like a window. Both works, you just have to decide on your favorite. And I'm sure there could be more options. I hope you like our top 10 ways to cover a wall. If you like this video, you should watch this video about how to decorate a rented space. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you always know when there's a new video. See you next time!